Hello, I'm Dr. Patrick Camus, Director of Research and Innovation at EDAX. Focused eye and beam instruments are permitting the acquisition of a wealth of information in three dimensions by the ability to serial section the sample. That wealth of information can be obtained, but without the correct tools, integrated interpretation is difficult or impossible to obtain. In this video, I will show some of the steps and features of the unique Team 3D IQ software that is used to view and analyze three-dimensional EDS data sets collected with the Team 3D acquisition software on a focused ion beam instrument. The first step in the analysis is to start the Team software, log in, and open a project as normal as long as the project has a map file that can be loaded. You can load any map file, as I've shown here. The advantage of that is that it activates the Export 3D option on the Review Data menu. So I can go up there and lock it in so that we can edit the values as needed for the analysis to export the total slices. So we would just process going across all the options. The first one is to select the map and then to change the directory to the location of where the data files are sitting. And here are the data files here. We select the very first map in the slice set. The system will then analyze the data set to determine how many slices are in the data set by how many SPD files are there. And when it comes back, it shows us that the maps that I've selected are 259 by 512 pixels. There are 50 slices. We can bin the data to uh, increase the statistics in case it has a little bit low statistics that we're doing. I've selected 2x2, two two, but we could select 1x1 one one all the way up to 5x5. Five five. We can then input a slice thickness at the present time for this in microns, and these slices were 200 nanometers apart, so 0.2 microns. The number of x-rays that are going to be done per voxel in the three-dimensional data space. Values between 10 and 50 are nice. We can start with a value of 15 for this particular one. And to go, we then hit the Export 3D button. We now give it a data name, and I will just call it that 2 by 2 by 200 by 15. Hit enter, and now it will do the processing of performing quantitative analysis and making pause files for the spectral imaging data set, net counts, weight percent, and atomic percent for each of these. And this processing will take some time, so you can leave the system alone till the processing completes, and then we can load the data files into the 3D program. And now that the team software has combined all of the individual slices into one POS file. Now what we will need to do is analyze that POS file as one unit to understand the three-dimensionality of the elemental x-rays in the structure. So we start the 3D IQ software, go to the file menu, load new pause file, we want to browse to the location that we just saved that pause file from the previous analysis. We need to also include a range file, which is defined as a file that defines what the energy range is for each of the elemental x-rays that we are concerned with. We highlight that and open. It will now open that data file, which is many hundreds of megabytes in size usually and it will process that, filter it according to the range file, and then display the x-rays on the screen. Depending upon the speed of your processor and the number of pixels and slices, of course, this processing will take longer or shorter amount of time. So we can see the first indications of the data set with the pink dots and the yellow dots that are in the display, but is still doing further processing for the cumulative spectrum of all of those pixels will be displayed in the bottom spectrum display.
And so that is complete so we can click and drag on the screen to rotate the data set with each of the x-ray energies assigned according to the range that is highlighted in the color listing in the mass spectrum below. We can turn on and off different x-rays by going to right-clicking and display ranges. We will leave just the sulfur on just to look at what its contributions are. We can see its contributions, but we really can't see too well because the noise is doing it. This is actually loading all the x-rays, so it does include the Bremsstrahlung, but we can sort of see where it's a little bit brighter there in the center. So a nicer representation is to put an ISO surface through that. The way we do that is to right-click on the 3D grid, create ISO surface. We want to create it for the sulfur, which is the yellow. Now we will adjust the threshold to see where the surfaces are through this, and we want to see where they will go. So if we go too high, then it just obliterates everything. If we go too low, then we can't see it very well. We can see that the best one would be right around here. We can rotate it while we're looking at this. And that is showing where that high intensity band is, right through the center. And it has a little extraneous band on the side. But you can see the band going right through the center. So we will create that interface. And we'll store that purposes so that we can use that for it for later analysis. We can also do this for any number of x-rays. We'll just show it for the sulfur for this time. We can turn all the x-rays off and now we can see just the surfaces. We can see there's a little bit of extraneous material on the two edges coming up here, but you can see the main band going right through the center, which is the layer that we get between the top layer and the bottom layer we can investigate what those other x-rays are, but this gives a flavor of what you can do by putting isosurfaces through it, turning on the x-rays of the different x-ray lines on and off, and to visualize the material in three dimensions. In summary, modern electron beam instrumentation can collect a wealth of x-ray information from samples even in three dimensions. Without the best analysis tools, interpretation of this data can be difficult or impossible. I hope that this video has provided you with some basic illustrations of the flexibility and power of the unique Team 3D IQ software in analyzing 3D EDS data slices. For more information, please refer to the website at www.edax.com.